Today I'm going to talk about rebuilding the uh, calipers for your 8.4 inch uh, brakes for your classic mini. So basically this is a uh, I just kind of had to learn this uh, you know in order to do this one job and shout out to the guys on the Mini Mania message boards for uh, giving me a lot of guidance on how this goes. Uh, hopefully this video will help will save you from ruining your caliper rebuild kit because um, I did in fact ruin one and I'll show you why and had to order another one. Basically the way this goes is you're going to have your caliper and it's going to be you know obviously put together like so. Now uh, the first thing you read in the Haynes manual about rebuilding the calipers it says do not try to separate the caliper halves. Well I don't know how you're going to do this without separating the caliper halves. And I think what Haynes is getting at, and I'm not 100% sure on this, is that in between these caliper halves, there's a little place for a seal. It's right there. You see mine's out right now, but it's this uh, caliper half seal, which is this piece. This is a new one that I bought. It sits in there. This might even be the wrong seal. No, it fits. Sits in there just like that, right? So that guy's in there, and that's what keeps the fluid sealed up between the halves. Anyway, another thing, if you're going to powder coat these, which is what I've done, I powder coated these with like a chrome black color from Eastwood. Uh, you have to take them apart, otherwise you're going to melt this seal. So you're going to wonder why your caliper doesn't work. All right, so basically I'm gonna use this half to demonstrate how this goes. Now, obviously there's gonna be a piston and seals in here. Uh, what I used was, pre predominantly, is I used a pair of channel locks or a pair of pliers to just sort of grab that piston and pull it out. Uh, on this caliper, you can access the back of the piston right through the uh, supply hole, right? So you can just put a punch I got a set of steric punches that's right in there, boom, just pound it out. Another thing guys will do, and I did this, was they'll hook compressed air to it. Uh, there's a little hole right there. If you've got a, a rubber fitting on your on a compressed air line, you can seal it up there and hit the air. If you do that, I do recommend that you have your regulator turned way down because I have mine normally set about 90 PSI and when I hit it, the new piston that I put in that I needed to come out again, shot literally 30 feet. I just went flying. So turn your turn your air down, um, protect it somehow. I've, I've seen other people rebuild other calipers, they say to wrap something around it, you know, so when it comes out, it doesn't go flying. Um, definitely wear your eye protection. Also, if you shoot it out like that, and the, the, for the first time there's gonna be a bunch of fluid, in, fluid sitting down in there, so that's gonna go everywhere too, so that's a problem. Uh, anyway, just be real careful. Like I say, channel locks. If you're replacing your pistons, I've got these brand new stainless steel pistons that I'm using, so I wasn't caring about tearing up the old ones because I'm just going to chuck them in the recycle bin, you know. Okay, so first thing that I figured out is that these little seals that come in your kit, there's actually two different ones. There's a slightly thinner one and a slightly thicker one. A slightly thicker one goes in up underneath the dust seal, the slightly thinner one goes inside. So I'm going to take the slightly thinner one and I'm going to lube it up with some brake fluid. I'm using my blue gloves of freedom on one hand. I should have used it on both. Okay, and then you just kind of stick it in there. Just kind of work it into there. And you will see when you take the other one out, I mean, it's, you'll know it just goes right in there. Same place the other one came out. I got my own jacked up. Okay. Now straighten it out. Looks really nice, and there's a little bit of brake fluid on it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press the piston into place. So I'll make sure my piston is nice and clean. 
Maybe throw a little fluid on there to lube it up. Okay. Now, what you're gonna notice is, put this in, it's real hard to push it in, but it will push in. Uh, instead of me just pushing it in, I'm gonna go ahead and use my arbor press. Now I'm just gonna press it in real gently. Now another thing, the Haynes manual says to leave it sticking out eight millimeters. I'm not doing that. And I've got, I've got word that other people in the mini community don't do that either. So I'll go ahead and cram it all the way in. Okay. Now, slightly thicker seal. And the slightly thicker seal, this, do both of them have it? Okay. This is of note. There's like a little channel. Oh, that's going to that's going to uh, focus on that, but this one's got like a little channel in it, whereas this one's flat on each side. This is the outer seal. Okay. Now, just going to throw a little fluid on this. This one basically just sets into place. No problem. Now, here's the challenging part. And this is the this little seal, or uh, dust cap, dust seal, I don't know what this damn thing's called. This little thing here is what I ruined. I actually ruined both of them out of one kit. It's really difficult to get in if you're doing it wrong, which of course I was. Because I do everything wrong. You gotta press this in evenly into the cowl. So if you set it in there, it, I mean, it is, you can't, with my experience, you might be better at this, I can't, there's nothing I can do to just do this and get this thing in there. So what I did was, one of the guys on the forum was saying he used a hammer and a block of wood to, to uh, hammer it in. So I tried that with my dead blow, and I, I didn't have luck with that method. But again, arbor press. So, get you a little piece of wood. Um, I just kind of, you know, cut this one down so that it would fit in here but at the same time, it covers the entire circumference of the uh, of this little dust seal that I'm trying to put in. Put it in there, make sure it's just kind of level, make sure it's also, you know, pointing the right way. Set your little block of wood on. Watch me ruin this. See if we've gotten started. I want to say I'm in good shape there. I'm in the channel. Boom. Perfect. So, so I was a little hesitant to really crank on it, but uh, that's how it goes. All right. You want to see it again? We'll do this. I don't think you really need to see it again. Anyway, also there's plenty of videos out there on um, how to, you know, powder coat your, your calipers. They're super dirty when they come off, so you got to clean them up really good. Then you just throw the powder on and bake them. Uh, anyway, so there's one seal in. It did get a little dirty when I did it. I'll clean them off real good. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side just in case that HVAC was bothering you. So, slightly thinner seal, throw some fluid on there to lube it up. Should have brought two gloves. Okay, it's in there inside that little channel. Now, again. Make sure it's good and clean. Throw a little brake, brake fluid on there to lube it up. Set it in there. And again, I'm going to use the Arbor Press for this one. And it just goes... Goes right in. Perfect. Okay. 
last seal. Again, it's got this little channel inside of it. This is the outer seal. Get it wet. This brake fluid sets right in place. Last piece, don't want to ruin it. Get it set in there. Everything looks good right there. Block of wood. That felt funny. Yeah, so, yeah, that time it went in on one side and I don't like that. I am biased to one side here on the press. So let's try to get centered. Really doesn't want to go, and I'm way, I'm way off. I got a lot of sawdust everywhere. I recommend don't do this in a place with a bunch of sawdust. See, I did start to bend it a little bit. Perfect. All right. That's all there is to it. Like I say, um, now guys on the forum were saying that they reused the caliper half seals. Um, I've got some brand new ones. I probably will stick them in this one. Or no, I got two of them. I reused the seal on, on the other caliper that I already rebuilt and already installed on the car. So hopefully that one works. Um, <clears throat> only other things is, you know, I bought new bleeder valves. I don't know, the old ones ought to be alright. But anyway, quick and dirty, rebuilt caliper. Once I get this thing bolted back up, installed on the car, should give me plenty of years of service. Thanks for watching.